Hello, in this tutorial we will run through the settings when exporting for iOS and Android devices. First import then open the Zoom file found in the exercise directory. Hit the plus icon to open files. Let's start by seeing our end result over here. Hit the camera icon to reveal controls and icons. The stripe on the bottom is the scene states we had in our project. Of course you can uncheck this option if it's unnecessary. You can add links to your websites. And you can add pop-up messages. Play animation and navigate around. Keep in mind that the building of this scene has been covered up. Please check the 3D PDF chapter for more info regarding that issue. In addition to that, the template designing is similar to the 3D PDF one. Watching previous tutorials can deliver a profound understanding of how things work here. After saying that let's start off by opening the particular file for this video. This is the same house worked on in the 3D PDF videos. It contains scene states on the doors and fins to open and close, and scene states on the roof and walls materials. It also contains a round table animation as well. Now go to iPad Android menu then hit settings. Open the STF file found in the exercise file folder, however you can create your own by hitting new, but let's go ahead and hit edit after selecting the file we just browsed. As you can see the background is an image inside the 3D area. The only accepted way is to place the image inside the 3D area when it comes to iOS and Android devices. Here you can change the background image. This image will play and stop the round table animation. Select multi-action under the type drop-down menu. Open the list box. Hit add and select play animation. Then again stop animation. The icon image underneath will be assigned to open the Facebook page, so we should add a URL action into it. Paste the URL in the empty box over here. This one the same as before. Alright, this icon will be a message box that pops up. You can fill it with any information you want. Now go ahead and save your STF file then exit. Now let's see the tabs on the left. I will check above ground so my navigation will be limited not to go underneath the model. Select the type of navigation. Make sure SimLab buttons is checked, or you will not have access to the scene states. Most of the options here are self-explanatory, so go ahead and hit export when you're ready. This is all about the iPad Android export. Thank you for watching.